be sure if you need to buy any ultimate team coins guys go and check these guys out links are in the description as always we are back for another episode of stat attack i believe this is 20 but i could be completely wrong come up against this guy obviously needs no introductions the likes of lucas pato uh rubinho in there they're all extremely fast luis gustavo at cdm is amazing uh, i love using him to be honest and i have used him in many teams but uh, this guy wasn't a skiller I would go as far as to say, I don't think he used a single skill move against me. But, with a team like this, you're pretty much going to have the lead in hand against mine anyway, even if you are a bad player, you know. Uh, Keesling trying to do everything here, uses his strength, good save in the end, because he would have followed up to any rebound that was out the front. I'm actually really enjoying using Keesling. Uh, but as you've seen from the title, there's going to be an inform this, in this episode. It's the first one of the team, hopefully of many, many more. So, uh, something I wanted to mention, guys, the likes are slightly like slipping on this series so if you could uh, that would be great if you want to of course if we could get this over 200 likes that would be absolutely fantastic but uh been streaming a lot more got back into it again today uh, it seemed to go really really well a lot of people enjoyed it uh played shiv you know rated to pd chip uh, to chips tips as well which was uh good fun it's always fun when me and shiv play um i was lucky not to go one down a little bit earlier there where he hit the post but he's through on goal of wellington and what are you going to do i can't do nothing good finish in the end by him but just too fast for my defenders. My defenders don't have uh, 70s in their pace section, so I can't really do too much. But Keesling here, he should not have been able to score that. That was a, a definitely a goalkeeping error, and that does end up costing this guy. But we get a corner uh, onto the head, unfortunately misses, and then a really, really good save, to be honest. A snapshot save. But we are going to go and score the winner, which I think we did deserve in the end. Keesling, lovely little turn there to finally put it in the bottom corner, and we go and win our first game of the episode. Always good to get a first win. Uh, Ream gets upgraded there. Fielding gets upgraded. Friedrich gets upgraded. So some of the major players, in fact, probably the three major players, are getting upgraded, which is good to see. Uh, it means as well, it gives me some breathing space if they start to get downgraded as well. Bringing in Frankie Fielding was definitely an advantage. Um, I, I didn't, I can't think who I changed now, but I, I was Scott Loach. I did not like him at all. So doing that did help me out. Uh, going to sign these two centre backs. Pretty good in pace as well, both I believe in the 70s. Uh, he had 74 in defending and heading. And we go and get Chris Kirkland in goal. Everything in the 70s again besides positioning. Positioning was slightly slightly lower than I would have liked, but it's one of those things. Come up against this guy again. He's got Pato and Rubinho. Um, but apart from that, it's, it's an extremely good looking side. You know, I've used a couple of the players, not that many though. But this guy is a lot better than me, to be honest with you. Uh, I expected a loss in this one. And, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll have to wait and see. But we get uh, we get some chances of our own. I should probably have gone to another player. I should have just done a tramp pass. At the end of the day, I've got a weaker side than he has. So, uh, I probably should have just tramped it. Should have gone 1-0 down there. Luckily, and I don't know how, uh, the gods of FIFA were on my side. Again, nice little save here by Kirkland. So, we start pretty well. We're into the second half now, I believe. So, we start pretty well. And we actually go and get the lead. Uh, the defender that is uh, scoring that one, which is great to see uh, on his debut. But then it's pretty much him all downhill from there. He goes and scores the 73rd minute with Pato. And then I believe it goes to extra time. I can't see the uh, thing here. Oh, no, it's a good save, I believe. Yeah, a really, really nice save there. Probably shouldn't have finessed it. If he had power shot that, probably would have gone in. But uh, then it's the Melito show. Gets the first goal there. Nice little finish by him. Goalkeeper didn't really make as much of a, an effort as I liked, but there's nothing that he could do about that one. In fact, the goalkeeper did make a save. It was just a fantastically well-hit shot. Uh, Kirkland's actually still going to be upgraded, though, which is, you know, fantastic news. On a loss to get an 8.9, shows how good he did play. Going to just quickly cover... A couple of topics as well that a few people have mentioned about the chemistry and people not in formations. Uh, the reason sometimes they're not in formations is 442 is usually a really expensive formation. And when you're buying certainly the lower, you know, the lower silvers, the higher bronze. In other leagues, there don't tend to be very many in 442. And when they are, they're ludicrously expensive. So, um, especially because I know they're not in the club for too long, I don't really want to waste a whole load of money. But I will try and get as many in 442 as I can. Uh, the new centre back getting another goal. So that's two goals in two games for him. Uh, Keglari, I think it's Cal Caliagri. I don't know how to say it, but he's proven a very good signing for me. He was the first of this new set of Germans in the side. Uh, Pesco is going to get that goal, so that makes it 2-0. A bad goal kick by him through to Keesling. He's not going to miss that either. He's on some good scoring form for me. And that makes it 3-0. Going to make it 4-0. Akpala getting on the score sheet. And just after that, the guy does decide that he's had enough. Which is a bit of a shame because I think I could have got a few more players upgraded. 
Uh, we're going to get the goalkeeper yet again upgraded. Uh, this, the German centre-back is also going to be upgraded as well as Kiesling, Akpala and I believe Pesco is as well. Um, I think the right-back is going as I'm just trying to think ahead. But we're going to make some really, really nice signings, guys. We're actually going to get the first inform. We're going to get... Uh, I can jump straight to that because it's in a minute. We're going to get inform Kiesling. I know it's the same player. But uh, I was really restricted, actually. I was surprised how restricted I was to 80-rated strikers. I think he is the only 80-rated striker in the Bundesliga. Uh, especially being German, he links up with the two that aren't from Bundesliga as well. But uh, it's, good. It's, it's looking very good. You know, we go and get Anton Ferdinand here as well. There were some chemistry issues. That's why I was looking at the chemistry here. Uh, we get uh, Scott Sinclair here, but he is going to be at left wing. But I will be transferring him at some point. At least he's in the right formation. But guys, I hope you did enjoy. Uh, hopefully, you're going to keep supporting. Be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Be sure to subscribe as well. We're closing on 30k. But thank you for watching, guys. And I'll speak to you all very, very soon.